this is uh, this is up in Montana mountains, western Montana. Oh, probably uh, I'm thinking three or four hours from the glacier. Um, we're up in a national forest. It's a four-mile two-track ride to get back up in here. I don't know if you can hear it in the background or not, but there's a waterfall and a and a uh, uh, really fast-flowing, clear, just clear stream coming down off the side of that mountain back there. And uh, this is where we camped last night. And it's probably 8 o'clock in the morning, something like that. The sun's just coming up over the top of the mountain. So what a beautiful, beautiful night's rest. Probably the best one ever. This is, uh, I can't, can you remember the name of that town that we stopped at last night, honey? Boulder. Boulder. Was it Boulder? Oh. Boulder, Montana. If you come in, if you go north out of Boulder, Montana, the first exit that you come to, there's a sign that says, uh, uh, forest, uh, national forest. And, uh, and you turn and you go right at that bottom of that, bottom of that exit. And uh, or top of the hill, you'll see National Forest, four miles. And it's about four miles um, of gravel road. There's a little bit of concrete, but um, before you get to the gravel, where the, where the gravel and the dirt starts at. But not a bad ride in. Definitely, definitely worth the ride back in here. There's a big area just eh, within a quarter of a mile of us here that we walked to last night. That's uh, that's. We're, that's easily worthy of uh, 30 or 40 bikes, camps, and that kind of stuff. Just open camp type of a thing. And, uh, and uh, we didn't know that was there. We had already set up our tent and stuff. So we wound up here, which is really nice too, though. Because <laughs> this is like a single car camping spot. Fresh elk track, um, about oh, 50 feet from our tent, right down there in front of the, where the bike's sitting at. And uh, there were a couple sets of them in there, fresh ones from this morning or early this morning, or we ever got up. And then uh, down the road, there's an actual elk crossing trail. And uh, 